Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next video. And in this one, I'm showing you guys how I make, or at least how I start my war bases at Town Hall 9, kind of how I start the layout, and uh, kind of the, the order I go through when I'm placing all my buildings and stuff. And uh, I first have to apologize just to my subscribers for uh, the lack of videos. Um, I was recording a base destruction video but I waited too long and it went too far back so I wasn't able to get that done and then uh, wasn't able to get any like live attacks just too busy during the the arranged war and actually now we have a one hive scrimmage going on so I had to leave right after the arranged war um, I will recap that war but it's just I'm not in the clan right now so I have to wait till this war ends then go back and get the uh, recap of the arranged war so it's gonna be a little bit of a delay but I'll make sure to uh, do my best to get you guys some videos. It's just going to be a little bit slow. Um, so I am sorry about that, but my bad, I guess. Didn't wasn't as diligent as I should have been in my recording. But anyway, um, not taking anything away from this video, let's go ahead and get started. Um, obviously, you want to have an offset queen. queen. So that's the first thing I do, is I'll put down my queen pad, uh, let's say right there. That looks good. And then, uh, you guys, I mean, and this is just how I do it, you guys can do it different ways, but typically I put this little uh, compartment around her just uh, three tile away from her, I have the wall um, just like that and like that um, just because she probably won't hop that wall in any circumstances um, unless you're really unlucky, so this is always a good thing to do then I put the CC down, some people like to offset their CC but I just like putting it down in the middle, don't want people to lure out uh, what I have, especially because I don't have a lava hound so Anyway, put the CC down kind of in the middle there. Then I like to have kind of a core compartment. I typically want to put one air defense in the core, uh, so I'll put that one right there. And then uh, I want to have a possible double giant bomb spot. I'm not sure if I'm going to put them there or not right now, but I at least want to have the option of having some kind of double giant bomb in here. So I'm going to make a little core compartment like that. Let's go like that. Um, actually, we can make this one uh, tile less right like that and then um, oh, that's not gonna fit okay move this down one then just like that there and then now we have a possible diagonal giant bomb because we can go like one two like that I'll leave that there for now but I could move it uh, we'll see um, then from there typically what I like to do is kinda map out where the rest of my air defenses are gonna go so I'll probably wanna have yeah, just looking at it, uh, probably going to have it be in a formation kind of like, uh, probably like one, two, three, something like that. Because remember for dragons, you want to make sure that, that you don't have two that are kind of both accessible by a queen walk. So something like that would be good. Also want to keep in mind, I want to have other possible double giant bomb spots. So... Um, let's see here, we could do, let's do this, move that guy a little bit closer, put an archer tower here, and then close off this compartment right like that. We can even have the king be thrown in here. The king is kind of like a dead space building, so kind of put him uh, to, to uh, just kind of fill up space uh, somewhere in the middle of the base. Sometimes people put their king over here, but I, I just like keeping him in here, so leave him like that, no, let's just move him in like that um, so now I have two possible giant bomb spots and I want to make sure even if I don't have any, my double set here I want to make it look like I do at least so I'll kind of put some dead space here to prevent it being triggered like that um, alright let's see here let's go ahead and move the air defense like that uh, let's throw a cannon in um, let's have one more possible spot so I can have like a possible Tesla right here so I can make it look like there might be a Tesla here um, let's get these walls going like that and then I can have it be like one and boom I don't have to put the Tesla there it just makes it look like it might be there uh, so it makes it a little bit harder for whoever is trying to attack this base I'll throw a cannon right there um, and then this compartment uh, let's go ahead and move this out so we can have a possible Tesla or bomb there um, let's get this going out now I just kinda like to fill in the compartments 
And sometimes this is where I'll start over if the compartments aren't working out, if I don't have enough walls to cover all of this. Um, but want to make sure that the air defenses can't be queen walked. That's a big priority. Don't make sure those air defenses can't be queen walked. Because if they can, you're going to want to scratch the base and start a new one. Um, so let's try this out. Like that. Um, that should be good. Like that. And then it looks like I'm a little bit short on walls here. I like to have these little two kind of long compartments here to protect the queen a little better. Um, but I might not have enough. Well, actually, I might. Like that. Um, yeah, I can probably take two walls from somewhere. So that's another thing. You can kind of donate walls to yourself. So I can scrap this, go down one. There, I just got one wall for myself. Um, and then where else can I take a wall from? Ooh, not a whole lot of good places to take a wall from. Um, but what I can do is I can go like that. Then I should be able to, and there's still a possible, yeah, that still works. So finish that off. And there you go. I've made kind of the skeleton of my base. So uh, this one, I'm not copying it off anything. This is just a fresh, a fresh design here. Um, I think that this uh, air defense can't be reached, but I'd probably have to take a look again just to make sure, maybe ask a few people, because I'm actually not sure about that. Um, then so from there, I'd probably start placing the rest of my defenses. Um, your expos are good anti-queen walk, so you can put expos in places where, uh, probably like change this out for an expo because the queen can't hit the expo, it's too far back, but the expo can hit the queen, so that's always good. Maybe put one right there. Those are two good spots for the expos. Uh, let's see, that cannon's in a good position. Um, I also like using my air sweepers as anti, um, anti queen walk, so uh, I can throw an air defense. If you just like look where the queen's going to probably come from, uh, you can see that um, probably come into this compartment right here, uh, just because there's probably good value if you send the queen in there. So I'll probably want to put like an air sweeper right here and uh, have it kind of pushing out any healers that try to come in the base. Um, and so then at this point I just place all my defenses then I'd place my traps, you know, my giant bombs, decide where I want my Teslas to be, if I want to do a Tesla farm, if I want to put a troll Tesla in the corner to mess up the first attacker, um, and kind of just go from there. So uh, that's basically it. I, I've already made a Town Hall 9 base building, uh, the basics video, if you scroll down to that, if you haven't seen it already, if you want more info. But this is how I start out a base because th that video I made doesn't really cover how to start. It just shows some bases and uh, how they're designed but it's important to know where to start and this is basically how I do it so you know start with the skeleton of the base and the important defenses one thing to do is that you want to have like three giant bomb spots is good three double possible double giant bomb spots so um, you want to make sure the pathing works out so to avoid this uh, set being tripped uh, from the long side I'd probably put a Tesla here so hogs go from here to there to there to there Instead, if that Tesla's not there, they might go from there, and they might head up to here or there. It's possible, so I want to avoid that. And then, um, even though I'm not going to put any giant bombs there, I want to keep that looking like it could have that, so I'll put some dead space here. And then I'd, uh, oops, I'd probably fill in with the fences like that, and that, and that, or whatever, just to make it look like I could have something there. Um, and help throw, out, throw off the first attacker. And then from there, just kind of look at your base, see how it would be attacked. That's how you can make some tweaks after you're done. But still have to fill in the rest of the defenses and, you know, put some HP out here to help out the queen, etc. Um, so that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, sorry about the lack of attacks I'm going to have, but um, I'm sure some people will step forward and let me show their base during the scrimmage. So that should be fun. And I'll have some coverage of that. Plus, when I get back to Genesis, I'll... I'll do some recaps of the um, or recaps from the attacks from the arranged war, so uh, that should be fun too. So stay tuned for that. But I am sorry, a little bit of a lack of videos lately. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one though. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.